It's Pastor Allen, and we're working on a topic about growing in the Lord. This is our second idea, and the topic's not so exciting, to be honest. It's life's difficult. Aren't you glad to have that happy bit of news today? Uh, I want to start with a verse of Scripture. It's from 2 Timothy chapter 3, and it describes the season prior to Jesus' return. Uh, I believe we've begun that season. I'm not suggesting He's coming this week or this month, but I believe we've begun that part of Scripture that describes the season before Jesus returns. Listen to what Paul had to say. Mark this. There'll be terrible times in the last days. People will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boastful, proud, abusive, disobedient to their parents, ungrateful, unholy, without love, unforgiving, slanderous, without self-control, brutal, not lovers of the good, treacherous, rash, conceited, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. Wow. Fifteen different characteristics of the deterioration of human character. And to me, it sounds a whole lot like the evening news. Now, here's the reality. We can't change it. We've been given a prophetic perspective that describes the season before Jesus returns. You know, one of my observations from my own life and the lives of the people that I'm traveling with is that life's just more difficult than we would like it to be in all kinds of ways. And being a Christ follower does not remove you from that arena. It doesn't change those realities. So you, your family that you were born into, I suspect, was not perfect. And it may have torqued your life a little bit. In fact, your family may have been abusive and made life really difficult. Or there may have been authority figures that failed to live up to the assignment they had. Or maybe there's things about yourself that you're not pleased with. You're too tall or too short or your feet are too long or your nose protrudes too far. Life's just not perfect. And being a Christ follower isn't going to fix that. The insects are still going to attack your bushes at home and your grass is still going to have to be mowed and life's going to happen. But here's the good news. Through Jesus Christ, we have an advocate that will help us not just to survive, but to lead triumphant lives. Life apart from Jesus is overwhelming. With him, we have an advocate who has all authority and all power to help us. We're going to learn more about that in the next session, how to invite Jesus into our lives. I want to pray for you. Father, give us a boldness to face today, the courage to persevere and the confidence to know that Jesus is helping us, that the Holy Spirit is with us, that we're not alone. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you, and I'll see you for the next session.